Well, good morning, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. Here's a look at stories making news on this Saturday morning. So body camera video showing the events unfold as police say a woman took off her clothes and jumped into Biscayne Bay, taking her three-year-old nephew with her. 27-year-old Natalia Marina is facing child abuse charges. She appeared in bond court on Friday. According to an arrest report, officers were questioning Marina about several vandalized floodlights. They say she jumped into the water to avoid arrest, but was later taken into custody. She remains in jail this morning on a $6,500 bond. A final farewell was held for Broward Fire Rescue Battalion Chief Terrison Jackson on Friday. Sheriff Gregory Tony, who knew Jackson personally for over 14 years, shared his devastation at the funeral. The battalion chief's brother also speaking. Jackson died after a fire rescue helicopter crashed into an apartment building while he was on the job. Another victim was asleep inside her apartment. She was also killed. 65-year-old Lorene Wheaton will be laid to rest today in the city where she's from, which is uh, in South Carolina. Meanwhile, two people taken to the hospital after a catamaran crash in Biscayne Bay as well. Sky 10 over the scene when the U.S. Coast Guard and first responders arrived. One was taken to the hospital with severe injuries. The other had injuries to his shoulder. It's unclear what caused the boat crash. FWC now investigating. And the future of abortion access in Florida is now in the hands of seven state Supreme Court justices. The court hearing from both sides Friday related to the 15-week abortion ban case. The state of Florida is seeking a reverse on a decades-long precedent of interpreting the privacy clause in the state's constitution to extend to abortion access. If the justices side with the state, the recently passed six-week abortion ban would take effect 30 days after their ruling. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and also online. You can head to our website, local10.com, for more.